Kilaya trees grow in an area about 800,000 acres in size. That's really quite huge. And you've got on average about four and a half tons of Kilaya per acre in this overall area. Now, CONAF, the Forestry Management Group of Chile, allows us to harvest or allows anybody to harvest up to 35% of the total biomass in a five year period we actually harvest just a small fraction of that. Some people choose to cut down whole trees. For the most part, we just cut branches and limbs and allow those trees to regenerate. In every possible way, we ensure that there'll be a steady and consistent supply of Kilaya in the future and that the environment will be protected. This is what remains of this Kalaya tree after harvest. One limb has been cut and the rest will continue to grow. This manufacturing facility in Linares, Chile is ideally suited for making Kilaya extract. The basic steps of doing this are the chipping of the wood, extraction itself, filtration and purification, concentration, and sterilization. It all happens in an industrial flow. We're going to take you inside the manufacturing facility and show you exactly how Kilaya extract is made. As you can see, we're in a nursery, and all of the seedlings that you can see are actually Chilean trees. This is Kilaya. Now, the men behind me are from an NGO called Evolucion. And through the Jacques de Kansky Foundation, uh, in conjunction with Evolucion, we're working on a reforestation program, planting native trees on land owned by small landowners who really don't have any economic opportunity. The idea is to reforest that land with native species and also to give these people some economic benefits down the road. It's all part of working with Kilaya in a sustainable way. Mm -hmm. 